Cause New England rescues abandoned, neglected, and abused dogs from high kill shelters and provides veterinary care and then places them in permanent loving homes. Paws New England has also been featured on One Nation Under Dog, a moving HBO documentary that explores the complicated and unwavering story behind human relationships with dogs. John Gagnon is a Paul's volunteer and joins me now along with Jade. Hey guys, how Hi. are you doing? Great, thanks for having us on. Uh, we know right off the bat that uh, Jade needs a home. Yes. She Tell does. us a little bit about her. Jade is a young adult female, spade female, uh, two to three years of age, uh, probably a Brittany, <laughs> probably a Brittany Spaniel mix. Um, not really sure. She came out of a high kill shelter in uh, Tipton, Tennessee, and uh, is now waiting for her forever home. Oh. Oh, she's been very well behaved too. I want to she's let everybody great, know at home. Yeah. Uh, tell me a little bit about Paws New England, how it started. Paws uh, started some years ago. Uh, one of the original founders, Kelly Parker, and her husband were traveling through Tennessee and found a stray dog and brought it to a shelter there and immediately realized firsthand the horrors that go on there and uh, the, the number of dogs that are killed there and how quickly they turn over because. The average dog coming in there has 48 hours, and then they're put to death. And so when they discovered that, they didn't want to give that dog in, and that just set upon a mission to do something about this, which is why the primary connection to Tipton as far as many of the dogs coming from that particular shelter, mm -hmm. just because Kelly had initially started there oh, by, by, by accident. So. How many dogs have been rescued? Uh, pause, Hundreds. <laughs> thousands. thousands. Yeah, Paws does uh, close to 1,000 a year. Okay. Um, so. And uh, it's not just rescue, you rehabilitate and you find homes for these dogs. That's part of the process, yes. Um, and it's, you know, it, it's, it takes a lot. Um, and, you know, the, there's an adoption fee associated with it, and a lot of people are put off by, you know, it's a, it's a pound dog. Why is it three or $400? These dogs cost a lot of money to bring up. You, I mean, you can go to the pound here in Connecticut mm -hmm. and grab a dog, and that's awesome. Like, do that today if you sure. can. But the dogs coming up out of the south, on average, for the healthy dogs, is $200 of veterinary care. It's another 150 wow. to transport them up here. So a healthy dog is $350 just to get them here. So the rescues are looking at break even. And the sad fact is that the majority of the dogs are not healthy. Mm -hmm. Half the dogs are heartworm positive and need to be treated for that. And it's treated very successfully. That's not as big a deal as it was 15 years ago. But mm -hmm. um, then they have various injuries. I've got a, a um, bull mastiff mix with me right now who just went through a $1,500 knee surgery. Oh. Uh, you know, other complications, ear infections, you know, et cetera, et cetera. So the bill just goes up from there, but the starting is like 350. So but the, you're saving a life. You've absolutely. taken them from a no-kill shelter. So that's what makes a difference. Absolutely. Yeah. John, I want to ask you a little bit about the documentary. How did Paws get involved with this? Paws was selected by HBO. Uh, HBO con contacted a variety of rescue groups and asked them if they'd be interested in, in uh, being featured in this documentary on rescuing and on dogs. Mm -hmm. And uh, Paws, of course, was very interested, and they were selected along with, with one other group, and um, you know, then it all began. Here we go, and we can watch it on demand on HBO. Absolutely, yeah. And of course, the pictures of the dogs we were showing while we were chatting, they're all available for adoption. So, yes. uh, of course, for more information, check out pawsnewengland.com. John, thanks for being here. Hopefully we can uh, find Jade a home. That would be great. Thank you very much. All right.